And everything set for a start here for between the Gold Coast and North Sydney at the Parramatta Stadium. A defamative uh, rain in Sydney today but it was confined mainly to the uh, coastal areas and consequently the Parramatta Stadium looks a treat. And the referee for tonight's fixture, Graham West. North Sydney and the Gold Coast. Gold Coast to kick off. Tony Gibbs, a familiar face to rugby league fans. And uh, referee West is checking with both sides. Blows time on. And we're underway. First quarter of this Panasonic Cup match. And immediately North Sydney in possession right on their own line. And a couple of uh, new faces from the weekend, as we mentioned earlier, in this North Sydney side. I wonder can they string two good wings together? Let's see what happens. Tony raised the dummy half. And here comes Bella. Captaining the side tonight. 35 out from their own line. Back for Gale. His kick down for uh, Dardengo. For the Gold Coast. Here's Gibbs. And 35 out from their own line now. It's more Sydney defence on the weekend against Parramatta was uh, exceptionally good. And their attack was very good as well. And it's a bad mistake from the Gold Coast early on. Turning over possession like that. North Sydney already making a clear break now. As uh, their fullback Conlon got it back inside. Kevin Maher will play just outside the Gold Coast quarter line. Bevan on to Gale. And then on to Bella. Slips it back for Gale. Some room to move as Larson got to the quarter line. A pass that has gone astray. Been picked up though by Les Kiss. And gets driven back a metre or two. So the North Sydney side just outside the Gold Coast quarter. The kick and chase from Gale. He's got it again. He had it, but he lost it behind him. And it's play... Well, you yeah, play on as North, North Sydney continue to ride away. Here's Gale again, heavily involved so early on. Conlon into the back line, can't get the pass away. Well, he did, but uh, he'd been called to play it. So the penalty goes to the Gold Coast. Yes, yeah, on the uh, Panasonic replay there, a little bit of uh, passing off the ground uh, by uh, Conlon. Didn't do him any good. Well, kicking, play, Ian, kicking plays an important part in, in any football game, particular four-quarter football, and what have North got to offer in that area, Pete? Well, they were very strong in that department on the weekend. Well, it's still come back to you in a minute, Pete, because the uh, North Sydney side right on the boil. Down the blind side is Gale. Gale's got support, too, and the pass has gone out eventually to Kevin Martin. It's been called back. Yes, I think. Went forward, I think. I think the referee was uh, very well positioned, as we'll see on a replay of that, because he was able to rule immediately on it. Gail gets the pass away, and this pass here was called forward and looked forward from that angle. So uh, that's a good decision by the ref. And in spite of a nil-all scoreline, both sides have tried to throw the ball about. Pete, do you think Scott Gale's the key there for Norse in their attack? Well, he is the key man because of his individual brilliance and the fact that at halfback he will handle the ball more than, more than anybody else. I think what he'll be looking for is the forwards to keep it in a little bit tighter more often and then look to capitalise out wide once they've dominated in the middle. Wayne, as a lock forward yourself, it just seems to me that Bobby Linder's getting out fairly wide. Obviously, Bob's looking to get wide of the big North Sydney forwards and attack out, out there, but uh, I think he's going to have more room to move as the game progresses and the game opens up. Into the second quarter with a nil-all scoreline between the Gold Coast and uh, North Sydney. And the first clean break of the game now as uh, the uh, second row forward Smith got it up to the halfway mark for North Sydney. Now can the Bears capitalise on this? Here's Bella. Ten metres inside the Gold Coast half. Ray is dummy half, still working the blind side with Larson. Caught by Gibbs. Here's Gale. And then on to Bevan, to Florimo, the run around, well the dummy back to Bevan and Florimo's gone straight through. Now he's linked up with Bevan, the kick ahead from the 5-8 is going to be in the end goal. Coming from the clearance with Gary McGuire to score a tremendous North Sydney try. Brilliantly conceived and beautifully executed this try. <coughs> it's a really good quality looking try. The goal long pass out to Bevan, the run around with he, Florimo dummies him and goes straight ahead catches the defence snapping, makes a beautiful break, gets into the clear, 
offloads perfectly to Bevan again. The little jab kick, the little grubber type kick, and the fast breaking Maguire is the man that capitalises on the try. That's really good stuff. The long pass from Gale. Bevan, the run around with Florimo, the dummy to him, and then goes straight ahead. It's an old move, it's an old chestnut really, but it worked beautifully. And there it is again, that little jab kick by Bevan. Maguire wins the race, and that is a good try. So a good start to this second quarter by uh, North Sydney and that man, Gary Maguire, Maguire, who came in as a replacement for Brett French. And the conversion attempt is a good one, straight between the posts. So John MacArthur takes it to a North Sydney 6-0 scoreline over the Gold Coast. Ma. Bevan finds Gale and Bella. Driven sideways. Strong tackle from David Chapman. Gale, switch of play. Bevan, he doubles round again, keeps it alive well. Quick hands from Smith, but Florimo again the danger out wide. Excellent play. They keep it alive. Gale just couldn't take the pass. Coming back into him from MacArthur. He was clear. Yes, a smart bit of football there. <clears throat> this pass coming back on the inside was knocked on by Gale. He was travelling awful hard, but uh, still an expectation that a first grade footballer would take that one. But he's uh, pretty smart tonight, pretty cluey. Playing with confidence after Sunday. Well, he's playing in his favourite position. He is a halfback. That's what he thinks of himself as. Lidner, a lot closer to the ruck this time. 6-0 the Bears. Gibbs. They seem to pull something extra out every time Gibbs gets the ball. He's been belted backwards on a couple of occasions and lost the football on a couple of occasions. Sloppy play. Yes, well, there it was. That's pretty bad on the replay there, the Panasonic Cup replay. He's a very experienced player. He might have been hurt in the tackle, in which event we can't... Uh, be too critical but uh, in general play that's that's pretty bad scrum in the middle of the field hard to defend from this situation the kick from gale for florimo is it gonna sit up for him he's waiting for it just manages to control it off it goes to MacArthur. brilliant thinking they have to stand flat in defense both sides of the scrum they took their opportunity well, Florimo really uh, showing some inherent skills here. He's chased this kick through, this little grubber kick through. He gets to it very low down. Normally that would have been a no-no to do that. But he got the pass away to MacArthur, who was just on the outside of him. He goes in to score a try. He's getting pretty used to this try scoring now. He's scored quite a few in the last couple of matches. But there's uh, Florimo. Look how low he has to bend and very precious close to dropping it. And away it goes out to MacArthur after really incredible hands from Florimo. And uh, MacArthur in for a very, very sound try. So MacArthur now to convert Florimo. Having a great hand in both tries. Everybody knew it was on to perfection. Unfortunately, the kick's not. It hit the uprights. The scoreline remains 10-0 North Sydney over the Gold Coast. And next to me, I have a familiar face in quite unfamiliar surroundings, Jimmy Barnes. What are you, are you doing you, here? Uh, just watching the game. I'm hanging out with a couple of mates of mine watching the game. So do you follow North Sydney or the Gold Coast? Uh, no, not really. But I'd like to see the Gold Coast win. I hear you're a Tigers man, is that true? That's true, that's true. You're a wise you man. Should know. You should know. <laughs> mate, the loud noise has obviously affected your judgment over the years, man, your <laughs> mate. Hey, we've, we've got Jeff Fennick making the transition to league. Can any, any truth in the rumours that Jimmy Barnes will be on the rugby league field when the singing days are over? Uh, uh, yeah, probably lying on it. <laughs> mate, we've got a scoop down here. Jimmy Barnes in the Parramatta jersey, two years' time. 10-0, North Sydney. Eden. Spread the ball quickly for Gonzalez. Florimo wraps him up. About eight metres out, as Hunt decides to try and step his way through, he can't. Chapman. Well, he managed to step to the fence, the big front row for Eden. The dummy back for Billy Johnson. Now they've got some room to move. Out for Linda to the outside of Gary Smith. He's got support on the inside, too, for Ross. Much better play from the Gold Coast. They open it up, they look for a quick play of the ball. Billy Johnson sends it wide for Eden. The long pass out for G. The kick for Gonzalez. He was standing flat. He really wasn't ready for it. 
Now Conlon will bring it back. Both men down there in defence. And G it was who managed to off-balance Conlon. So a better passage of play. They kept the ball alive out wide. And now they've turned Norse around back inside their own 22. Bella. Bumps defenders out of the way as he tries to try and get them away from their own danger zone. Gale to Smith. Pass to nobody. And the Gold Coast tried to get to it. Now Lindner kicks it ahead. It'll have to be brought back. There was a knock on earlier by the Gold Coast. Yes, I thought Gibbs knocked on earlier <coughs> and diving and attempting to dive for the football. But uh, Linda really made a valiant effort. This was the pass. Watch and see if Gibbs, the number 12 there in the headgear. Yes, it definitely came from him. Went forward, propelled towards the opponent's goal line. Knock on, has to be a scrum down. Re replacement, Bill? Yes, Steve Hansen coming off and Adrian Toole in 16 to go into the front row. Gre Greg, Greg Whitbread in number 17 goes on for David Chapman. Whitbread for Chapman, eh? OK, now the Bears inside the Gold Coast half now. The penalty's gone to uh, North Sydney. And the scoreline, 10 nothing. North Sydney over the Gold Coast. We're at Parramatta Stadium for North Sydney and the Gold Coast and the Bears lead 10 nil. With the opportunity for MacArthur to add extras here for North Sydney. This penalty is about 35 metres out. And I reckon he's about in line with the right hand upright. He's already scored a try and kicked a goal. He's a very enthusiastic footballer, MacArthur. He's played in all sorts of positions for the, uh, the Bears. Fullback, wing, halfback. Let's have a look at this one. He has uh, made no mistake with the fine kick from MacArthur. So North Sydney shoot further in front now. It's 12 nil over the Gold Coast. So Gail. Ball straight back out. Quick heel from the scrum. And Conlon in to make the extra man. Back on the infield. He couldn't get it to Fulliger, who was pretty clear. Now Brett Gale. Will they set themselves for the extra point to make sure of it? Or are they looking for a try? We're about to find out as Tool takes it up to the quarter line. Tony Ray finds Fulliger. Stepping infield. A perfect position if they want to set for it. Or even take the pressure off and go on an early tackle. Gale. He's the man that might look for it. Bella. A kiss is a dummy half. Gale is deep. Here comes the one point. Does he meet it correctly? He turns his back on it. That's the one point. Quite professionally performed by the Bears and Gale. They lead. On the replay, there it is, the right foot, the one pace, the hitting of the ball at the right time, slight curve from right to left. We start. Now, can the Gold Coast get it all together around this end of the field? Right on the quarter line, as Johnston took first pass off the rug, got it back to Simpkins. Now they're only about 15 metres out, the Giants. Eden. Rolls is pulled down. Ross. Back to within 10 metres of the line. Rolls. A step off the right foot. And he's only about three or four metres out. Last tackle now for the Gold Coast. As G runs across field and selects perfectly. Chris Close is able to score the first Gold Coast try. Well, it may be too little and too late. He came right and hard on the burst, as you'll see. This is Chris Close, known as Chopper. Cutting straight through the defence, caught by one leg and goes with a big hop. And that's the way it all happened. An effective try. That's probably if they'd been able to get better field position throughout the night, they could have used him uh, in those sort of situations where he's been used by other clubs. But he was never in doubt, really, of scoring that try. Somebody should have taken him high. They didn't. Now Eden with the conversion attempt, makes no mistake, right between the posts. So the Gold Coast are well and truly on the board. It's North 13 and the Giants 6. Graham West wants it again. As I said, the Giants want possession or a penalty. Won't get either. 
as Gale just accelerates away from the back of the scrum for Florimo into the open. Stepping around, Ross keeps the ball alive, oh. taken magnificently by Benson. Oh, that was a first slipper. That was a magnificent catch. Look at this, he knocked it and then dived full length. That's a magnificent catch, great athleticism. Now they go wide, rolls. Oh. The pass looked as though it might have just drifted forward. But it's still play on as Gonzalez gets to his feet, rolls again for Simpkins. They've looked better in the fourth quarter, but all too late for the Giants. Whitbread, that ball was touched. It'll be six more. Just two minutes left for the Gold Coast. Johnston, the dummy. The defence was up quick. He read it well, kept it alive for Nella. Now the knock on and they fumble. That's what happens when you're under so much pressure and you just have to keep the ball alive. Gale. Catching the defence well and truly offside. He absolutely pleaded with Graham West for the penalty. MacArthur said, I'm here, I want to have a kick for goal. Gale says we're going to hang on to possession. Inside, well and truly, the last two minutes. So they're going to stay down this end of the paddock. And certainly taking their time. This six tackle should see it out. Bella, the real workhorse for the Bears. Simple plays through the forwards. Ma, just keeping it tight. Explosive second quarter that scored 10 points for the Bears. Has got them home tonight. Gale, Scott Gale it is for Brett Gale. He sights the gap right up the middle. Can he unload? He can't. Ray a dummy half, just five metres out. Scott Gale. Held the ball up for Larson. He can straighten. Again, it's still just five metres away from the try line. Just seconds remaining in the match as Bella turns, loses possession. Back for Simpkins. Nella now rolls. Last tackle of the Panasonic Cup of 89 coming up for the Gold Coast. Ross kicks ahead, down from MacArthur. He runs away from him. Steps, can't beat Rolls. That's the end of it. Solid performance from North Sydney, backing up their great display against Parramatta from Sunday. They might have had a few out, but they've got home very strongly, 13 points to six.